grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the presence of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon to you all. And thanks for, thanks for inviting me. It's great to be a part of your celebration after spending 20 years pretending I could fight myself at one stage. It's good to have a crowd around you and I don't know that you can't do it. So I'm glad you're here and feels, and feels in good order by now. So let's begin our celebration by calling to mind our own sins and trusting ourselves to love and the mercy of God. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Lord of mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Through the grace of adoption, chose us to be children of light. Grant that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. So we'll be seated for the reading of the word of God. Death is not God's doing. He takes no pleasure in the extinction of the living. To be, for, he, for this he created all. The world's created things have health in him. That in them no fatal poison can be found. And Hades holds no power on earth. For virtue is undying. Yet God did make man imperishable. He made him in the image of his own nature. It was the devil's envy that brought death into the world. And as those who are his partners will discover the word of the Lord. Rest on soil of the psalm. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Response. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favour through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. Response. I will praise you, Lord, you rescue me. The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. Response. I will praise you, Lord, you rescue me. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Yours is the most of everything, of faith, of eloquence, of understanding, of keenness, for any cause, and the biggest share of our affection. So I expect you to put the most into this work of mercy too. Remember how generous the Lord was. He was rich, but he became poor for your sake, to make you rich out of his poverty. This does not mean that to give relief to others, you ought to make things difficult for yourselves. It is a question of balancing what happens to be your surplus now against the present need. And one day, they may have something to spare that will supply your own need. This is how we strike a balance. As scripture says, the man who gathered much had none too much. The man who gathered little did not go short. The word of the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The words are spirit, Lord, they are, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. I didn't prepare much at all, but I do want to thank you for inviting me here. Uh, and the thought in my mind is 200 years, and I'm hoping you can put the story together, somebody, to put the kit, get the story at the print, or onto a disc or something, put the story into print and I long to see it and love to see it because you can know as we, down the years we heard many stories about Co-Band and how it started and what, but to get the truth and to get what's it about, it'd be great, you know, it'd be great to get into a book and, and, and be able to read it. Just a word of the gospel, seeing we are here, the gospel is, is uh, you know, this extraordinary stuff of, of raising the dead, but 
all we I just look at Jesus. Jesus is our friend. Jesus is the one we come to. And in the long version of that gospel, you have the woman with uh, hemorrhage coming and touching this, uh, the hem of his garment, and she's healed. But the, but the gospel, the whole long gospel, is simply about. To me, it's simple. We can approach Jesus in any, in any shape or form, how, whether we're sad or glad or happy or afraid. You know, Jesus is the one we, we can approach at any time. So let's stand Professor Faith together. Invite those of you who are saying the prayers of the faithful. Come forward so we'll turn to our God in prayer. who have found at St. Patrick's Band in 1815 and for those who have maintained the band's existence over the past 200 years, Lord hear us. We pray for all the deceased members, relatives and friends that they may find eternal happiness with God in heaven. Lord hear us. We pray for the former members and thank them for their involvement during their time in the band. Lord, hear us. We pray for those in our parish and community who have supported and contributed to the community of the band. Lord, hear us. We pray, we pray for our tutors and leaders who have worked tirelessly over the years to help us reach this bicentenary milestone. May God bless them. Lord, hear us. We pray for our family and friends who have helped and accommodated us, especially throughout this bicentenary year. Lord, hear us. We pray for all the current members of our band and our committee that they may endeavour to maintain the commitment to continue the tradition and heritage of our band. Lord, hear us. And to make our way back, maybe quietly in your own hearts, you whisper it and pray yourselves on behalf of, of what is happening here, the celebrations. We offer the bread and wine to God in thanks and in faith. We bring a mace to represent the leadership of the band. We bring a practice chanter to represent all the pipers in the band. Present the drummers in the band. We bring our new brooch, which was designed by the committee to mark our bicentennial celebration, a badge that is worn by all members as part of their uniform. We bring the fluffs to represent the tenor drummers. We bring Atlandara as part of our uniform. Still there. Just I think up here. Not this. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. This Mass is ended. Let us go and enjoy ourselves. Amen.